Okay, I just want to do a quick video to show you um, the Factor IO working with the Siemens Step 7 totally integrated portal um, and the capabilities of your computer that you're going to need in order to get these guys working properly. So let's take a look at uh, my PC right now. So this is a brand new Surface Pro 4. Uh, it says 2016, but this is 2017. And this guy is a Core i7 processor. And it has six, uh, sorry, eight gigs of uh, RAM. And we're working off of a 64-bit operating system uh, with Windows 10, if I haven't mentioned this already. So eight gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system, Core i7 processor. Um, and things are just holding on. By just holding on, we'll take a look at uh, here. I'm just idling. I haven't even started my animation yet. And I'm using 31% of my memory, uh, sorry, 31% of my CPU, and then 70% of uh, my memory. If we take a look at the things that are really using the juice, factory IO is, um, this guy, my screen customac is using a, you know, a decent amount of uh, CPU. It's just my recording software. Um, but that would drop once I finish off this video. Um, now it's dropped down to 34 and 69. But uh, let's see, this Siemens automation portal is just screaming the, uh, the memory there because everything's on that uh, program. PLC capability, HMI capability. So it's a great program, but man, it needs a lot of uh, memory. So you're gonna need a decent computer in order to get this uh, to work. I'm not sure whether the computers in our lab are gonna be able to work off of, uh, on get these two softwares to work simultaneously. So the other uh, thing that you're gonna need, aside from something with this capability, i7 uh, processor, eight gigs of RAM, um, is you're gonna need an extra screen. Because when you put, let me just bring the, uh, the TIA portal back over here. So this is in the background here. And when you've got all this stuff going on, you can't see your animation. So I've tried to compress everything. If I go here and minimize this guy, well then everything disappears. So I have to bring this up and then literally grab this and then throw it over onto my other screen. And then I can at least see my three wire here to control this conveyor here. So this is my uh, Siemens Step 7 uh, program going to my 1200. And I've got a little start stop station here with the three wire. And this start stop corresponds to these guys right here. So let me just double click and zoom in. Okay, so there's my stop start station. And then let me bring up that three wire control again. And we'll just bring it over to where we're gonna put that up here maybe. Okay, so you can see the limitation on how much you can actually see on your program. When you have two screens, it's mint because you can do your animation on one and then you can do your um, your PLC program on the other one. So a decent computer and another screen is essential for this. And this, is, this Surface Pro 4 may not have been the best one for these programs. Maybe a desktop would be better um, rather than a tablet like this. Because if I feel the back of this tablet, it's just on fire. The fan is going and it is really smoking a pancake hot. So in addition to these guys, I also have um, a browser open because all of the um, all the manuals for the factory IO are online. So you'll most likely have, gonna have to have your PLC program, your factory IO, and the browser open at the same time so you can walk through their tutorials. Okay, so let's look at the factory IO. And what I need to do is I need to start talking to my PLC. And this is how easy it is. You just go to File, Drivers, and if you were using this um, Steam in Step 7 1200, you just click on this guy. It brings this up and I'm already talking to it. I'm, so I'm just gonna disconnect. I'm gonna connect here and you can see this. And then once you see the check mark here, you're now talking to your PLC. All of your inputs and outputs are already set for this pre-selected um, one that we're working on. And so now if I bring this guy up, then we'll be able to see, looks like the, the program is now telling my PLC that my normally closed stop is in fact closed and I'm just waiting to hit my start push button. What's annoying as well and why you need two screens, 
um, is that every time that I hit this animation, this window is going to disappear. So I'm going to hit the start button. Oh, maybe let's turn it on, Donkey. There we go. So starting the animation now. Um, I've got my TIA portal here, and when I go to hit the start push button, everything works, except I just lost my three wire, so I gotta click here and bring it back up again. Cool though, eh? You got this start stop station. All I'm getting to do so far is just to move this conveyor just so I can, you know, see the program actually working. When I hit the stop, this is gonna disappear, but I should be able to stop this conveyor. Cool, eh? Now again, it's just waiting for me to hit the start again. And so I got total control over my PLC over these two push buttons here, controlling that three wire. So it's really cool. Still really excited to use this uh, this program. Um, now that I'm using this animation, let's just double check right here again. 37% of the CPU, 69% uh, memory. So it is just holding on with these two programs. Possibly with uh, maybe the Tweedo Suite uh, program, you would have you know a smaller program for your PLC, but you really need to have a decent computer to get these guys working. All right, guys, we'll end it there. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, figure out how to create some scenes of my own uh, and build up something similar to this, and then do something a little bit more complicated than having a three wire controlling a conveyor. So keep going with the playlist. Hopefully, I'll have a few more videos very, very soon.